Hi, I'm John with Traditions Performance Firearms, and today we're going to show you how to disassemble your side lock percussion rifle. Today we have the Traditions Mountain Rifle, and the first thing you want to do before you disassemble any gun is to make sure that it's both unloaded and deprimed. To check and make sure your muzzle loader is deprimed with a percussion lock, simply cock your hammer back and visually inspect your nipple to make sure there's still not a number 11 cap on there. From here, take your range rod or ramrod if you have a line scribed and run it down the barrel. And if your scribed unloaded line meets up with the muzzle, your gun does not have a charge in the bore. and You can begin to disassemble your rifle. If you do have a charge in your bore, please consult our video on unloading a charge out of a side lock muzzle loader. From here, the first step in disassembling a side lock is to remove the tang screw just beyond the back of the barrel. After your tang screw has been removed, you can use one of two tools to remove your tin and wedge pins from underneath your barrel. You can use a soft material hammer like this nylon hammer here just to remove these tenons. If you have one that is being a little bit stubborn, you can use a wedge puller tool and just come underneath the pin and pull back. That'll help you pull your tenon pin loose. From this point, remove your ramrod, start to disassembly. and very gently remove your barrel from the stock. Be careful not to pull up too hard with leverage against this tenon, otherwise you may bend it. Try to pull back and then straight out of the top of the stock. With your barrel out of your stock, you can also remove your lock at this point as well. The way to remove your lock is really simple. Just remove these two screws, back these out counterclockwise, and then you're able to remove the lock. With your front screw, I cover that up with my thumb, and then I remove the rear screw. The rear screw you can remove completely. The front screw has your ramrod retention spring on the screw itself. One rule of thumb that you can use to make sure that that spring does not come off the screw is to take just a small piece of tape, masking tape, so it doesn't damage your stock, and just put that over the head of the screw to hold it in place. From there, you can work your lock out from the side. You can get in and clean all the fouling out of that where you've had it out shooting. To further disassemble your barrel assembly, you have two more components that need to come off the barrel in order to clean your gun. The tang can be removed by hand, but then your nipple and this screw right here, which is a bolster drum cleanout screw, both of these need to come off. To remove your nipple, just simply take your nipple wrench and turn the nipple counterclockwise. To remove your bolster drum cleanout screw, take your flathead screwdriver and remove the screw counterclockwise. Having these two components out of the back of your barrel, make sure that you don't have a vacuum effect when you go to put jags, patches, solvents inside your bore. Without removing these two components, you could create a small vacuum back here that creates enough suction to hold that jag or ramrod in there and get stuck. When you have these two removed, it allows air to get underneath and able to let you take your ramrod to go back and forth throughout your barrel without creating a vacuum effect. 